Stan Jabalisco here from the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America. Continuing our tutorial, video tutorial supplement to the book Beginner's Guide to Reading Schematics, third edition, published in October of 2013 by McGraw-Hill, revised and edited by yours truly. So let's get right to it. What I'm going to get into here in this little tutorial uh, is the basic symbology for semiconductor transistors. And you'll find that information in this spiral bound paper book. On pages 48 and 49, there are bipolar transistors on page. 48, and some field effect transistors on page 49. Now what we do basically to start with in order to draw any transistor symbol in most situations, see how you can fold this book back like that? See how it lays flat, doesn't try to close itself after you've found your page? Notice how it's made out of paper so that it requires no battery, acquires no viruses or bugs. And you can spill your Diet Mountain Dew on it and all it will get is wet. Beginner's Guide to Reading Schematic Spiral Bound. That's the edition I recommend, especially if you're going to use it on your workbench. On pages 48 and 49 we get into the symbology for transistors and we start with circles. I'm going to cover bipolar and junction field effect transistors here. We'll worry about the metal oxide variety later. This is the basic bipolar transistor symbol. Emitter, base, collector. Emitter, base collector. Now there are two types of bipolar transistor. One of them called the PNP type because the emitter is P-type semiconductor material. The base is N-type. The collector is P-type. PNP. We indicate that by drawing an arrow at the emitter that points in towards the base. Remember, electrons can always flow easily from an n-type semiconductor material to a p-type when there is a junction there, and there is. There are two junctions in a bipolar transistor. I'm not sure why they call it bipolar and not bijunction. But those, that's one of the mysteries that will never be solved by me in this lifetime, I suppose. That is the NPN variety. The arrow points out. Remember, electrons can easily flow against the arrow in any semiconductor device, but only with great difficulty with the arrow. Conventional current, on the other hand, which flows from plus to minus, flows in the direction of the arrow. That can be a point of confusion for some people. Here we have the NPN. The emitter is N-type material. The base is P-type and the collector is N-type NPN. Those are the basic symbols. And you may wonder how I got such beautiful, perfect circles. Did I learn how to draw those by myself, or did I have help? Well, I had help from a quarter dollar, courtesy of our United States Mint, which makes the coins. You know, they make little templates with little round holes of various sizes in them, little plastic templates. Those are really good for things like schematic diagrams. Particularly when you want to draw symbols 
like this. Now, uh, as a word of caution, you may occasionally see transistors shown in circuits without these circles. Same thing for field effect transistors. Now this is the basic symbol for a field effect transistor. Now there's only one real junction here in a field effect transistor and that is between the control electrode or the middle electrode uh, typically called the gate and the channel which is a single piece of semiconductor material which goes between the source and the drain. If you see an arrow pointing inward then this is called an N-channel junction field effect transistor. And the word junction of course comes from that junction between the gate and the channel which goes between the source and the drain. That's this n-type material here and the gate is p-type. Contrarywise though you can have a p-channel JFET. I'm having difficulty drawing these arrows but that's supposed to be an arrow pointing out. Does it look like an arrow pointing out to you? Well, me neither. But I gave it the best try I could give it. Source, gate, drain, p-type material, and the gate uh, is n-type. So that is how a junction field effect transistor is symbolized. Now, the, the junction field effect transistor more closely resembles the good old electron tube in terms of the way that it operates. A tube in England known as a valve. And in fact, that's exactly what a JFET is, is a current valve, just like a vacuum tube. Whereas a uh, bipolar transistor, or a bijunction transistor in the Jibaliskian dialect, this type of transistor is not exactly the same as a current valve. It is to some degree like a current valve, but it operates according to somewhat different principles. Anyway, I won't get into the theory of these devices. Once again, you will occasionally see these symbols without those circles. So beware and even once in a while someone will have the nerve not to put these arrows in here. So you can't tell just by looking at the symbol whether or not it's an N channel or a P channel. But generally speaking in the N channel device the drain is relatively positive with respect to the source whereas in the P channel device the drain is relatively negative with respect to the source. So that is the uh, fundamental difference there. Here occasionally also you may see someone who has the nerve to not put these arrows in here. In a PNP transistor the collector is relatively negative with respect to the emitter. In the NPN device the collector is relatively positive with respect to the emitter, so that's how you can tell in a circuit if someone has had the gall to leave those arrows out. So that is the basic information for transistor symbols, all of which and a great deal more you will find in this wonderful little book, Beginner's Guide to Reading Schematics and also to Drawing Them. By golly, I think I neglected to mention that you can use coins minted by our wonderful, venerable Uncle Sam to draw circles. I think I neglected to mention that in this book, and I also neglected to mention those plastic templates. Shame on me. 
but this book also will help you learn to draw simple schematics. Stan Jabalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.